So what is this news I speak of in my yard about an opportunity? Uh, well, I made a decision uh, about an opportunity that came along unexpectedly in my flying career. And uh, I grabbed that opportunity and took it, even though it means I'm leaving something I really love. Well, I've decided as an opportunity came along to accept a, a job with a different corporation in the place where I live and uh, leave a job that I love. And it was kind of heart-wrenching for me to make that decision. However, it involves upgrading to flying a um, corporate jet. And uh, for those of you that are pilots, or for those of you who know pilots, you'll find out that advancement to a uh, corporate jet pilot position is, is definitely a career move that is uh, upward scale. And it's a positive career move and it's one that a pilot would normally take. So the decision I've made is to uh, leave my air medical position and advance to a corporate jet pilot position. And I don't even have to move to a different city to do so. If I did, I probably wouldn't uh, make that change uh, generally. You know, it depends on what city that's in and what who it's with. but. I took a position with a very fantastic corporation. I fly for a corporate uh, corporate department of a large chain that's growing and doing very well. Business is very good in this industry, and because I I do YouTube as a as a hobby, um, I really don't talk about my work life or career life, and I keep that all personal. So. Uh, you know, I keep those separate. So basically I flew air medical and now I'm gonna fly as a corporate jet pilot position. Uh, I've been hired, just went through orientation and uh, things are happening very fast in my uh, aviation career. Uh, I've, I'm way beyond my wildest imagination. When I was five years old, I wanted to learn to fly airplanes. And by the time I was 17, I was up taking flight lessons at the airport where I hung out with friends and, and worked part-time. Uh, I helped around the airport doing various jobs and sanding airplanes or removing paint from airplanes with, with a stripper. And so you could say I was a stripper as a kid. No, that's awful. No, I, I stripped paint from airplanes and I got paid back by getting flight lessons. It was a nice trade. It was a barter system. And I soloed an airplane, meaning I flew by myself before my parents really knew what I was up to. Well, they knew I was hanging out at the airport. They knew I wanted to learn to fly. But they found out I was really serious by working hard at the airport, hanging out at the airport, studying as much as I could at every free moment I had, even though I also worked at several other places. But um, they knew I was serious about becoming a, a career pilot and my parents helped put me through college to get that accomplished. And then I worked at the University of North Dakota Center for Aerospace Sciences for 10 years and learned a whole lot more and advanced all the way up through the highest pilot rating that you can get, and that's an air transport pilot. So that's, that's what I'm willing to share about what I do for work when I'm not here on YouTube, and it explains where I have been this summer. Two major reasons why you haven't seen many videos from Frosty Life, and they are huge, gigantic reasons. One reason is we, uh, we started a very large, major landscaping change at our uh, lake home. We rented a bobcat, ended up being three days worth of work. We tore up the yard and put in uh, began a new construction project on a new patio fire pit area with flagstone. I had gotten bids to get this work done and it was over $5,000 for a simple change. And I don't have $5,000 to pay someone else to do the, the uh, landscaping project. And now that I found out it took me all summer, it would have been maybe worth it. Although, again, I, I'm not going to put $5,000 into a landscaping project so we did it ourselves and uh, we've been working on that all summer and you saw the results in that earlier in this video and then 
At the same time, concurrently, I interviewed or I applied for and interviewed for this pilot position. Anyway, I'm keeping that private. Uh, I don't really talk about my employment here on my job, other than the fact that I'm a pilot. Uh, my, my channel is about my pets and about family life and about my love of life and lake life and raising pets and being a father and being a husband, raising a family. We're in a, I'm, Karen and I are empty nesters and we're going to embark on some travels and do some interesting things. And so I, my flight pattern is going to be different. Rather than being on call every couple of days for 12-hour shifts, mainly at night, I, I'm going to have some busy seasons, and you'll know when that is because you won't see videos from me very often. And then I'm going to have some downtime to travel more and uh, with Karen. And we're starting to really enjoy the uh, empty nest situation but we also really enjoy when our daughters grow up get married and come and visit at a lake at our lake place or we get to do other fun things with our adult kids and their spouses so anyway that's uh, I do have some videos from earlier this summer I just haven't had time to edit those and I'm sorry for being long-winded oh by the way I am totally hands-free my hands are on the wheel see right here I have a dash mount so if you're if you're wondering why I'm vlogging while I'm driving I'm actually just riding with you in the car I'm driving and you're sitting next to me and I'm talking as I watch eyes on the road there is a new law in Minnesota that is uh, went into effect a few days ago and I'm no longer able to videotape myself um, unless I'm using a hands-free device, which is this dash mount. And so, basically, I start the video when I'm parked, and then I just ramble on and talk to you like you're with me in the car, and we're, we're heading toward the lake. You want to go with? Actually, I just came from there, but I went for orientation, and I'm heading back to the lake. Anyway, um, so, as I transition through training, it's going to take some intense training for the next the rest of the month and so you're not going to see much at all because I'm going to be 100% busy with uh, with the training with the specific aircraft that I will be flying and uh, I'm sorry for that hang in there there will be a lot more Frosty Life videos I promise you that you're going to see more Frosty Life videos than you've seen in the last many months but not until September okay so Hang in there. Uh, I may throw a few video clips up that I filmed over the last few months if they're easy edits. But right now, beginning uh, beginning right now, I'm starting a new job. I'm in the training mode. I will be away for training for part of that time. And uh, once I'm all trained and tested in the, in the uh, new aircraft, in the jet aircraft, I will be then catching back up on uploading Frosty Life. And again, I took a job where I'm going to get more time during certain times of the year where it will not be the busy season and I will be giving you a lot more Frosty Life videos. I appreciate all of you who have hung in there and missed us and sent messages. I've not had I've not been online hardly at all with this landscape project and with the new job. It's been a huge summer for me and for Karen. It's been huge changes and a summer full of blessings. I can't even explain to you how blessed I feel for the opportunity to be in a job that I absolutely love and have another opportunity to work for another corporation that I absolutely love to work for and uh, never imagined that I'd have these many options without even having to move in my flying career and in my personal life and not to mention having you guys on YouTube and having the, the ability to share family time and pet time and lake time with you guys and have you all appreciate what I'm sharing so very much. I wish, I really wish in some ways I could be doing this full-time with you. 
on YouTube. But part of my career change not only is to upgrade the jet, but also to, at certain times of the year, I'll have a little bit more time to work with this because then right now I'm actually working for two, actually three different companies. And that's gonna go away. I'm gonna go work for one company now. And to make ends meet, I was pushing myself way too hard. And uh, so, you know, I don't like being in debt. And so we've worked very hard to get out of debt other than my house payment and now this car. But it's a used car. It'll be paid off in a very short time. And um, otherwise, life's full of blessings. And I'm very thankful for you guys and for my career and for my health and for my kids and my wife and my puppy dogs and my cats. Oh, my gosh. I'm just so blessed. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching Frosty Life and for uh, encouraging us and supporting us. So I'm going to continue on with my hands-free device mounted to my dash. I just want to point that out because um, I guess over time I've learned that distracted driving is, is more and more and more serious of an issue. And I want to participate in being an example of being a safe driver. And as that... As that law was coming into effect, I already had the hands-free device dash mount on my car. So I'd like to say that I, I became a safe driver, a safer driver before it became a law. I don't think laws can, you can't legislate common sense. And so uh, in the past, you'll see in my older videos, I did not exercise common sense and I was a little more distracted on my video uh, creations and those days have come to an end now I'm going to be limited to hands-free device only during certain times that I'm allowed to uh, video chat with you well not video I can't even do that but um, the device can record from the dash as I drive hands-free and pay 100% attention to the road as uh, as a vlogger, I think it's it's maybe important to set that good example for you. Thanks for encouraging me to be safe, and uh, thanks for watching Frosty Life.